This is the video tutorial for getting loose and loose colours and I'm about to paint those tulips you just saw. To get loose we talked about in the sessions how you want to use a, a really big brush, bigger than you think you need. A wet wash, which I just did, can be really helpful in encouraging you to stay loose and let the watercolour do its thing. You want to surrender some uh, control to the medium because that is the wonder of watercolour, right? Uh, and the other thing is to simplify your subject down into basic shapes. So pick the lightest colours first and see if you can just simplify that down into a big basic shape. Even if it's you're using that a, a, a light colour and you're painting that whole flower that light colour, that's fine because then later you can go in and put in the darks. So if you notice with these tulips, I've put a whole light pink down for the tulip buds and now I'm going in with a middly sort of tone. I'm letting it bleed out into each other because it's a, it's a wet wash and it's a nice effect that the, you can get with watercolours. And I'm still using a really big brush there. So some of the things we learnt in our sessions um, was uh, to try and keep your watercolours fresh, which was a, a problem some of us came up with. Um, you really want to stick to using a big brush and only using one, two, three strokes max for an area. So if you use a small brush on a large area on your watercolours, you'll find you start overlaying on top of the brush marks you've already made. And now we might like brush marks in oils and acrylics, it looks very painterly, but with watercolour it just looks overworked. And so to keep it fresh, use your big brush and keep just do a couple of marks, you know? So getting loose can look quite playful and like you're not thinking about it too much, but actually you are. You have to think, right, what do I actually need to paint? And why am I painting it? And how many marks can I do this in? And do it as in as few possible marks as possible. That'll keep it looking fresh. The other thing we uh, talked about a lot in the sessions was contrasts, which you can see I'm putting in now. I'm putting in the shadows, but they are very dark shadows. And some of us were a bit scared to put in very dark shadows. Uh, but until we did, they our work was looking a little bit flat in some areas. And as soon as we got brave and made very dark colours and put those in for our shadows, suddenly our work was just popping out and it looked super. So that was our other main thing, uh, our, one of our other main takeaways. We also talked about a combination of soft edges with hard edges can look good. And to get your harder edges, you want to let your paint dry before you go on with your next brush. So you do need some patience too. <laughs> but that, uh, that combination of soft lines, or soft edges and hard edges, uh, gives a bit more interest. And where the harder edges are is where more of the focal point tends to be. So you can have a look at your paint and think, where's my focal point going to be? And you might put a few more hard edges in that area just to try and draw the eye there. <coughs> and with just the big brush, you can make big chunky marks, but you can also make really thin marks. So if you look after your brushes and when you wash them with water, you just reshape the end of it very gently with your fingers and you just push it gently back into the point that it was in when you bought the paintbrush, then you should be able to just use the very tip of that paintbrush, that, those big round ones, to get a nice thin um, stems or grasses or whatever it is you're, you're painting in. So soon you'll see me doing that with this paintbrush as well. <laughs>
I'm now trying to put in a variety of greens. So it also helps it look a bit less flat. There we go. There I am using the tip of the brush. You can see quite a difference in those marks, can't you? Those thin marks done with the tip of the brush compared to those chunky marks. So you don't necessarily need that many brushes. <laughs> and then we've gone in there with a bit more contrast and all together that will just help make the whole thing pop. And you could add more detail to this if you wanted to. Maybe let it dry a bit more and assess it and then come in with more. Or you could leave it just as it is. I think it's actually looking quite good as it is. And some artists are very loose with their approach. And this could just be a stylistic choice. And that's about it. Thank you, everybody.